And that's how I saved Tijuana. Huh. I didn't know Master Chief was really Chuck Norris. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> hey, cats, what's uh, shaking? What's up, Gary? No, I'm very. Hey, hey, did you ever talk to those guys over at the Ivy here, Beverly Hills? Yeah. yeah. Manager said I still can't eat for free. What's up with that? Ooh. We yeah. got the intern on uh -huh. it. You ready for some updates? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. All right, well, at 12 o'clock we got lunch, uh -huh. followed by a full body massage. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, filling uh -huh. in for music today is going to uh -huh. be none other than Keyboard Cat. <laughs> what? Uh what? No! No! Gary, no. This is so unprofessional, man. Do you remember that one time? I don't... Oh, what's, what's wrong with him? Why is he freaking out? You never heard of Keyboard Cat? No. no, no. Keyboard, cat? keyboard Cat is like the latest internet music sensation since Chocolate Rain. No. Mm -hmm. huh. I heard that he searches the internet uh, looking for up and coming wannabe internet hosts. He's watching them, judging them. Judging <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. All right, Gary, we're rolling. I can't believe you, Gary. If you weren't up there, I would kick your. Hi, and welcome to the Intervixie Recap Show. Here, I am your host, Aka Sun. Coming up, we'll have the results of the Utada Ikaru versus Ayumi Hamasaki match and the Kenichi Matsuyama versus Ken Wasabi. No. Hello and thank you for joining us yet again for another one of Intermixie's Yellow Fever Tournament recap shows. I'm your host, Aka Sun, and today we'll be reviewing, going over, the Utada Hikaru vs. Ayumi Hamasaki match and the Kenichi Matsuyama vs. Ken Watanabe. Joining me today is going to be Lauren Wolf and Drew Pony yet again. How you guys doing? Good, good. Good. Super. I'm excited. Semi-finals time. It's uh, getting kind of hot. I know. It's cooking. It came a lot sooner this than I thought. where it breaks down. <laughs> best of the best. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the recap of uh, match number five. <laughs> Frontrunner Hikaru Tada delivers dominance over Ayumi Hamasaki with 73% of the votes. That's making her the first finalist in a Yellow Fever tournament. An underdog Kenichi Matayama pulls off yet another upset with 74% of the votes over Ken Watanabe. That means he too will be going to the finals next week. And there are your results for match number 5 here. Love them, hate them, you know what to do. Okay. Utada Hikaru here, first ranked here, coming in with 22 star points. Ayumi Hamasaki with 20 star points, seed number four. Clearly, Utada dominated this match with most of the votes. Your thoughts here? Uh, not a big surprise to me. I knew Utada would come out. I think her exposure is, has just been great, especially recently, where she's gotten MySpace coverage with the karaoke contest, I believe. Um, I've seen her, her most recent album on stealth shorts store shelves like right up front so you know it's like her coverage is really good right now so of course when your face is out there people are gonna my space coverage a couple of uh, kingdom hearts songs here and uh two english albums lots of dominance here drew what can i say <laughs> i'm losing money people <laughs> come on <laughs> we all knew this was gonna happen didn't we admit I plead the fifth. Thanks, folks. <laughs> so on the uh, on the uh, hotness factor side, uh, you know, Drew kind of does make an interesting point. Hotness factor. When you you uh, have uh, Yumi Hamasaki versus Utada Ikaru. Uh, really, you could kind of say Utada Ikaru really comes in as somewhat as we would call a, a plain Jane, so to speak, right? Yes. There's not really yeah. that much of a sex appeal about here, but it is something about her talent that tends to carry over. Why do you think this is? Um, well, you know how they say, you can be beautiful on the outside, but really if the substance isn't there. Now, I'm not saying Ayumi doesn't have substance, but with 
Utada's with her coverage, with her exposure, with all the things that she's done, it's just extra things on top of already, you know, what she looks like. It can make her more beautiful, more sexy, more hot in people's eyes. True, you agree? I believe when you're that talented, <laughs> you can take it off on the looks. <laughs> Uh, nice. Utada Ikaru currently uh, was scheduled to be doing a lot of in-store signings in the States here. Had to cancel it because due to uh, a pretty severe sore throat here. So, Utada, we certainly wish that you uh, get, well get better really quickly. Because if you do win, uh, we're going to need you to come up on stage and yes. uh, <laughs> accept your award here. So, uh, but uh, clearly speaking here, that that's uh, being serious. We have Utada Hikaru placing into the finals. Now, she's made it into the girls' uh, conference for the finals, uh, basically facing the winner of the Kotokumi versus uh, Name Amaro match here. So, who does Utada stand to uh, match up better against? Kotokumi or Amaro? Come on, Drew. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Who do you think she would have the better chance against? Hmm. It's a little early to tell. But I'm going to go with Amaro. Mm. Mm. Um, Kodakumi, she's a, she's, that's going to be a force to reckon with. Kodakumi is a force to reckon with, I will say. So. I see. So Amaro would be the better Yeah, it's kind of early to tell right I now. I see. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, talk about uh, the guys now. We have uh, the uh, Ken Kenichi Matsuyama. Once again, defies all odds. Coming in here, which he was an eighth seed position here, uh, with only 10 something star points. Uh, Ken Watanabe, 19, almost twice as much here. Yet, mm -hmm. he's defied all odds, and yet again, he pulls out on top. Beating, first off, in the beating um, uh, Kimutaku, who was the first ranked in the guys, yes. took him out, Ken Watanabe out. What, what is this guy's secret? What's going on here? Kenichi? His fan base, his fans are in love with him. The fans are in love with Kenichi. Especially with the, I mean, Death Note is such a big success here in the States. And then with the quirky characters that he plays, I mean, he's, he's interesting. He's very interesting. The pictures that he takes, he does a little bit of modeling as well. So, I mean, even the pictures that he takes, he's just an interesting character, I think. True. Hmm. I just can't believe another one of my picks lost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, what's I going am on. I'm watching my bank account grow. <laughs> it's like this is wonderful. <laughs> he's just whipping out that death note and taking them out one by one, isn't he? Yeah, I guess so. Mm. All I know is I like this guy. I've seen Death Note. He's very talented, and and he's actually got um uh, three movies in post production right now too. So he's doing some work. Two for this year, and I believe one next year. Well, truly, L is changing the world. Let's go ahead and take a look at the matches uh, currently going right now for ma match number six.